Okay. Don't say a word. Just keep walking real casual, okay? Let's do this. I'll show it to you, but you can't tell anybody else where it is, okay? Deal. They keep it way in the back with the really rare stuff. Hey, what's up? How goes it? Good to see you. The kids who work here don't know where it came from, of course, but neither do the old timers. None of them bought it, so there's no tracking number. As far as they know, it's just always been here. Okay, this is where they usually keep it. Uh-oh. No, no, did somebody buy it? Oh, man! I would have bought it myself, but I just felt like it was too big, too valuable, like the kind of thing no one man should possess. Yes! Here it is. Okay. You sure you're ready for this? Because what I hold in my hand is not just gonna blow your mind. It's gonna blow your soul. Go ahead. Open it. If you dare. <laughs> Watch it. Dude, check it. Oh. Hey, Riggs, uh, sorry I smashed your guitar last night. <laughs> what the? It's like new. Whoa, how'd you do that? Yeah, I'll try not to smash it so much this time. Don't mess with that guy. He scares me. Hey, Eddie, man. I hate to ask, but our manager wanted to know. When are you gonna build us, like, a new set? This Stonehenge stuff was funny in a kind of ironic retro sort of way, but... Look, Eddie, don't get me wrong. You're the best, okay? The greatest roadie in the biz. Everybody knows you can fix anything, build anything. Well, so maybe you could build us something that would speak more to our tween demographic. Is all I'm saying. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to join the modern world, you know? All right! Do you people want to hear some heavy metal? Fix anything except that metal is dead. So fine, old man, say like a porcupine. Say what? You ever feel like you were born in the wrong time? Like you should have been born earlier? When the music was real? Like the 70s? Earlier. Like the early 70s. Uh oh. I told you not to climb on that, you stupid mother! Fucking piece of shit! Please let him fall. Damn it! Good roadie knows his whole job is to make someone else look good. Keep someone else safe. Help someone else do what they were put here to do. A good roadie stays out of the spotlight. If he's doing his job right, he don't even know he's there. Once in a while he might step on stage just to fix a problem to set something right. But then before you even realize he was there, or what he did, he 
is gone. Huh? Ooh. Huh? The day has finally come for us to serve our master. Uh, hey. <laughs> hey, I'm not your master. No, you are not. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I totally know the Master. We're really good friends. We've known each other since kindergarten. And, uh, if anything were to happen to me, he'd be super pissed. Stay the fuck away from me with that thing. Hey. Silence. In fact, he sent me here. Speak not of the Emperor. And yeah, he told me to come out here and tell you guys you're doing a great job. Yeah! Hey, get away from that guitar! I just tuned that thing. Says you're right. of the
Alright, nice try, lady. Or whatever you are. I'm supposed to think you're a nun, but I know you're really some kind of big, ugly demon, so let's have it. Aha! I knew it! Big, ugly demon. Kinda sexy, though, in a weird way. Oh, he looked like a... Ugh. I gotta say, you are the definition. We stop. Accept the struggle. Of the... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That hurt, but you admired the skill, am I right? See of the victims. That's enough out of you. It's a shame. Wait, I think I heard once that killing nuns is bad luck. I'd better get out of here. Okay, all right. Well, here goes. Um, oh man, gotta get this thing moving. Let's see here. Um, evil, uh, dear evil, messed up demon powers of darkness, uh, and unimaginable evil. Please transport me off this awesome corpse pile. I am but a visitor in your strange world, which some would call hellish, but I have to admit, it's kind of badass. Oh, lords of gross leather things, and S&M type wear. You know you guys really have style. That battle nun? <laughs> she was hot. Uh, sorry about killing her. Uh, but you're evil though, right? So we're cool. Oh, powerful, majestic, slithering? I didn't even know I could do that with an axe. Uh, I have no idea why my guitar is setting people on fire uh, and stuff. Have no, not heavenly. Sulfur smelling? Deer? Wait, should I say deer? Oh, hellish beings of... Demons of the underworld. Demonic authorities? To whom it may, oh god, I mean, oh evil god. Man, this is tough. I don't want to sell my soul here. By your good graces, but uh, maybe if I could just talk to whoever's- Evil graces! Ah, son of a- Oh, nice cheater move, guys. Really cool. Oh man, don't tell me I've been slaying hot girls this whole time. The axe. So you come for it as well. No, but these guys jumped me and... Hang on. And it was just sitting there, so... You handle it very naturally. Yeah, that's kind of strange, isn't it? I've never touched an axe before. Who are you? Uh, right shoulder. We've got to get out of here before he arrives. Yeah. Wait, 
Before who arrives? Emperor Deviculus. Who? Emperor Deviculus, where are you from? It's kind of hard to say. Um, I kind of live on the road. <clears throat> What's the big deal? You're slaughtering his personal guard, for one thing. Oh, aha. All right, they're dead. So, what did you say your name was? Come on, we have to run. Look outside. Whoa! Hey, come here and check out this cool stuff. Over here, oh yeah, here. right. You... I'll be right there. Hey, over here! Quickly, over here! Yeah, that's a lot of dudes. What is this place? Temple of Ormagodon. It's a place of ancient power, but no one knows its true purpose. Done. Created beauty by simply rocking, that's all. Is that helping us get out of here alive? Actually, yeah, I think so. Is that a minecart? I call it the Druid Plow. Let me show you how it works. What you do, you slam it into goo hoo hoo hello. Looks like it's working already. You have awakened the spirit of the beast himself. I hope so. This is much better. We need to reach the bridge before they shut the feeding area gates. Feeding area? What are they feeding? If we get there fast enough, you might not need to find out. <clears throat> um, what's up with crazy legs? They've called in reinforcements. But why such a large force? What? What do you mean? Because we're badasses! Or maybe Emperor What's-His-Name has something against you? Okay, I haven't mentioned it yet, but this place is nuts! Yes, these are dark times for our land, but there are a few of us fighting to change the way things are. Is that why you've come? To join us and fight for the liberation of humanity? You know, I don't really know. Haven't really thought about it yet, but uh, so far that's the best explanation I've heard.
Oh, come on. I'm fucking sick of you guys. All right. While I'm slaying these dudes, you get that gate open, okay? God, she's awesome. Oh, uh, sorry. Did you know those dudes? You'll never French kiss again. What's French kissing? Uh, it's, uh... The, um, gate's open. What? Oh, the gate. <sighs> ah! What's that? I couldn't hear you. It's like you got a lisp or something. Over here, you foul and rotten worm. Come and fight so that I may... <laughs> Hey, knock Future that off! And trails! <laughs> Decapitation! There. It is dead. And you, I will now teach you if... Hang on. I shall now teach you of French kissing. No way! 
Wait, one more. Now put your hands up for this one, okay? Wow. You like the car? Yeah. I can't wait to show it to Lars. Ridiculous. They say it was the fire beast Omogodon himself? No. Far, far worse than me. It was Sakoria. I can smell her blood. The season of pain is upon us. But why has she returned now? What does she want? War. Finally. We should keep moving. We'll be safe in Bladehenge. Here, take this map. What's in Bladehenge? Bladehenge is the center of the human resistance movement. Aha! Army headquarters, huh? Well, right now the army is just Lars, his sister, and me. <laughs> what? Come on. Lars is a great leader, truly inspirational. But we've had a few practical setbacks. An army needs food, shelter, transportation. So many details to manage. Sounds like what you need is a roadie. What's a roadie? Uh, it's a long story. How about when we get to town, we have a big powwow with your whole army. We'll have a campfire, and I'll tell you all about what I do and where I came from over a big flag and a me. What's a flag in a mead? It's a drink. Aren't we in medieval times? I, uh... We only have beer. But you can have as many kegs as you want. To Blade Hinge! Ophelia, what demon have you allowed to follow you home this time? Oh, hello. Don't mind Lita. She's Lars' little sister. A little high strung. Lars! So let me get this straight. These performers, they don't even have to tune their own instruments? Nah, that's our job. The roadies. The rock star's job is just to deliver the audience to the promised land of rock. Fascinating. Um, can we get back to the part where you were summoned here from another world? Oh yeah, by this little guy here. You were brought here by Orma Godin? The Eternal Fire Beast? The Cremator of the Sky. Destroyer of the Ancient World. Yeah, I accidentally got a little blood in its mouth and it totally went nuts on me. There are those who speak of a day when Orma Godin the Fire Beast shall bring a warrior into this world. To destroy us. To deliver us. There is some dispute about the translation. But having met you, I can tell that you are here to help us. To lead us. To wage war against the demons. To liberate humanity. Hell yeah! I mean, hold on a second. I don't know anything about waging war, but uh, I'll tell you what I do know. I know from meeting you, Lars, that you are the true leader here, not me. What I know is how to put a crew together and how to keep it organized and how to take it on the road. That, my friend, is exactly what we need. But I'm sure you must be longing to return to your homeland. Pfft. All right. So where's your army, Lars? 
We have none. General Lion White has taken away most of our young men to toil in his mines. And he's taken our women to serve as slaves in his decadent pleasure tower. Well, let's go get them back! No, you are not to go near Lion White again. You were almost impaled last time. Compromise. We'll get the dudes first, and then they can help us get the ladies. But- Time to break the chains! I'll show you the mines, but I think you'll find these chains very hard to break. <laughs> 